can see me. You can manage not a key of Kage. You can make a lot of death. and took things to the limit. The official energy bar sponsor of extreme sports like base jumping, kite surfing, sandboarding, free climbing, helicopter parkour, wingsuit flying, big wave surfing, snowmobile accidents, triathlons, triathlons, and 100 mile ultra marathons. You press it to the limit. You're a super athlete. Even though you have an office job and a family you ignore. You don't have time for real friends. Or to eat proper meals. You're a warrior. You're in training. For what? Who knows? But one thing we do know, you don't even need food. It's not even the limit. We gotta do this! How, about you? How big is your ego, Chaser? No Santos Rock! Come quick, boss! Trevor! I tried, Trevor! What's going on, Ron? They were here for you, here for you. Who was here? Them bikers, after you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage, this fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone and they smashed it. Those pathetic 
Hamilton midlife crisis, hog riding, shaven headed, fruity leather, chapped wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chap wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, <laughs> Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45. Find him. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. right? That's better. Run along. Uh, <laughs> now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. I gotta make a stop at ammunition. You're meeting me at the Lost MC's airfield. in your ear when I get a hold of you. Oh, what are you buying at the gun shop? I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high power scope. They say they support local business. Well, we're about to find out if that's true. Melvin, how you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries, ammunition. Good, because you're about to make a corporate gift of a rifle, a high powered scope and a suppressor. Uh, take whatever you want, Trevor. I can't afford another fire. That sniper on your wall looks like it'll do the job. She'll do nicely. Now I need a scope and a suppressor. All right, now stop selling weapons to that half-wit Cletus. I think that you made the right choice. Water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? Yes, we are. I'm waiting at the water tower, boss. I'm up here. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. I'm up the tower, Trevor. We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. R really? Enough waiting. This is your moment, Ronald. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Here, by the road. You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me. Shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? They got a guard at the bottom of those steps! Under the control tower! Trevor! Hurry it up, Ronnie! Shit! I hear an engine! They're gonna see that guy you shot! Maybe if you shoot those lights on the tower, he won't be so obvious! It's all going off if they see that body! There's one, and there's the other. Lights off! Good. Now don't smoke the guy in the van until he stops and gets out. Fire. We got 
Get to him. Clean shot, Trev. There's another guy at the top of the tower. He's probably looking for his buddy. So long, sailor. Get your sights back on me, Trev. I'm scared. Come on, man. Cover me. You're in my crosshairs again. There's no one left to kill, so get over to that gas tank and plant the bomb. I can't. There's someone coming out of that building. I can hear him at that far door. There's a second guy, coming out of the building! Good kill, Trevor! I'm fitting it! Just keep a lookout! And watch out for the tank! It'll go up if you hit it! Someone's coming! He's gonna get me before I finish! He knows I'm here! He's coming over here! A bolt from the blue! Can you hear that? Chopper! Incoming! Always hated that chopper! Just fucking drive! You're bikers! It's looking for us, T! We ain't gonna get them guns when they got tactical superiority! If I hit the chopper, everyone's gonna know we're here! Try and hit the pilot when he's settled! They might think he crashed! Might they? They might. Yeah! 
to meet us just off the coast. So, uh, who might this buyer be? There's only two places this kind of hardware is gonna go. And they are? Up north to our Canadian cousins, where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or our other neighbors, those in the south, our Mexican brethren. I assume you got all kinds of connections in Canada. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, uh, uh, because of where you used to operate. Weren't you pulling scores in North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure I was. Successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. You wouldn't really do that to me, would you? Beat me and you'll see. Uh, I ain't a trained Air Force pilot like you. I can just about get where I'm going, but I don't got much choice over whether it's fast or slow. Then get better at it, or fly through a barn. Would a barn slow me down? Yeah, it might do. Or it might kill you instead. I'm just gonna fly normal, and I'll rely on you getting there quicker. You're braver than I thought. Stay low over those wetlands, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T.
I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might? Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both.
What brings you in today? This shit, it might stop a missile. Tires on the market. my God-given right to complain about things I don't like. Good for you. <laughs> so tell me, what do you think about the uh, Canadians? Canadians? The worst. The absolute worst. Worse than the Mexicans. I cannot stand me some Canadians. At least the Mexicans have the civility, no, the common decency to look different. You got a good point. I'll bear that in mind. America is for the Americans. When my grandparents came here from Norway and Ireland and the Ukraine, they didn't imagine they'd have to share the place with Mexicans or anyone else for that matter. It just ain't right. I'm a pure blood Irish, Norwegian, Ukrainian, and it's important that people remember that. I got this desert in my veins! This is a pure place. You're in the bush, and you're scared out of your motherfucking mind. Be grateful that the defense cuts left you with bullshit instead of bullets. Pow, pow! You're dead. Bro, goo just got you in the head. Well, that's what happened to Smithy!
How's it going there, you old loon? You don't give a fuck! War is beauty. War <laughs> is truth. War made me this way, so fuck all of you! Fuck you all! I did it for you! I did it for you and you don't give a fuck about me! War crimes? War crimes? What's a fucking war crime? Hey, bud. What you do? Nothing. What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunt, hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. Windows, antenna, tires, vermin. Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. <laughs> oh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'd be real neighborly of you. Hell. Why not? All right then, up here with you. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pastimes. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Okay, you see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. You're a real pillar of the community. Half the folks in this town would sell their own mother, and most of the other half already did. Screw them. Yeah, that's it. Give them hell. Shoot another one. <laughs> no more reality TV for you, Mrs. Gilbert. Okay, one more for the road. Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy day, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. So, what now? We are gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? Nothing as slippery as that. You'll see. Well, we'll take your vehicle then. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money and wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't believe. Them hipsters will give you their parents' last dime for it. It's gotten so I can't even keep up with the demand no more. All this eat local, small batch, farm to table bullshit. You know, I could maybe use another pair of hands if I can get you up to snuff with that rifle. If you keep on criticizing my shooting, you'll be starring in a snuff with that rifle. Here we are. I bet you never shot out the tires on a car before? Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's see what you got then. <laughs> hey, Ain't boy, you gonna shoot anything, up, Cletus? Nah, I do this all the time, and I wanna see how you deal with a moving target. This is perfect, right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good, plain, old-fashioned fun. Hellfire! Shh! 
shit for brains. They're slower than molasses on a cold day. Daddy gotta get paid. That ain't right. When in doubt, take him out. Ain't as easy as it looks, is it? Nice! Go on, one more, just for the hell of it. I never knew you were such an agitator, Cletus. All these damn tourists coming out here to gop at rednecks. Give them what they want, I say. What? That's it, beauty. And again, Trevor. Eh, not too bad, Trevor. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. I, I knew you were a fucking alien. Hey! You big lunk. Just two fellers killing time in small town America. Don't get much better than this, does it? The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever cranks a tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not neighborly. We'll get a better shot from up here. Him. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out and the rest should scatter. Damn, you're shaking like a dog pooping peach pits. Ah, sing to me now, song dog, and another. Dropped it like a bad habit. I think you got one more in you, Trevor. Damn varmints always getting at the trash and chicken. Worst thing about the Alamo Sea, coyotes. I don't know. I can think of a couple more things. Hellfire! That should do it. Nicely done. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Ah, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about.
Ah, stir, you piece of shit! Straight up. What's wrong with her now? This will give me some more zip. Best tires on the market. You are handsome. Hello, Mud. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. 
Even in this world full of scum and detritus, it's only right that we all bear our share. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Take this poor wretch, on the run, desperate, alone, about to learn the true meaning of suffering, all for a few thousand bucks. Think you can find him for me? Every man has his talents, Maud, and the rigorous administration of justice is, uh, is one of mine. That's why I love you, Trevor. I'll send you his file. Hope you're gonna pay this time, Trevor. You hope what? Forget it. Just don't break anything or hurt me. The cheek of it. Maybe I'll pay, maybe I won't. We're two local businesses supporting each other, Melvin. I don't have to shop here. All the disreputable people smuggling guns into the country these days, just be grateful for my patronage. Of course. Sorry, Trevor. I don't know where Janet's meeting those young foreigner men, but it ain't in the Yellow Jack Inn.
Had Cletus in here earlier. Picking up something special for his girl. Non-refundable, I should add. There you go. Bye for now. to keep an eye out for you. in the bathroom. You're going to be listening to the news while I do that. Weasel News. Do back rubs get you laid? One creepy chiropractor says so. A medical marijuana university falls on hard times. Loser News. A local chiropractor says the simple act of rubbing a woman's back often leads to sex. Mike Evans claims to have slept with over 3,000 women despite being really creepy and rather sweaty. The Chiropractor Association of Los Santos is offering introductory courses to anyone interested in this line of work. The Los Santos Medical Marijuana University says they may have to shut their doors. Professors are often incoherent. Students forget to come to class. The dean of the university, which was originally set up to supply dispensaries, say that they are considering switching to teaching people to manufacture medical cocaine. If Proposition 208 passes...
Don't screw with me! I'm late. Can you... 